Hello everyone, this is EB the Original Master here with this very special video for you guys. So as you guys can tell that the 2019 year is wrapping up pretty soon and will be closing the 2010s decade and lots of great things happen in this decade for myself, such as me starting a YouTube channel on May 30th of 2015, I started Twitter uh, around July of 2017, and I've also opened a Discord server. Well, I didn't have a Discord server, but I started Discord thanks to my best friend who is no longer with us in the Discord friend group, Reaction Guy 1026 So, what I've decided to do for this very special occasion video is me discussing every project that I've worked on on this decade, including some projects that never made it to YouTube, while some other projects that were brought over to YouTube. So these are all of my series and projects that I've done in the 2010s decade, giving you guys a little bit of information about the series, what I thought about the series, and what were my, some of my favorite moments working on the series or projects. So I hope you guys will sit back and enjoy this video. And without further ado, let us begin discussing all of the projects that I've done in the 2010s decade. Okay, everyone, we are beginning on the 2010s decade with a little series that I created way before my journeys of YouTube, back when I was like in middle school, was a little Mario series that I've made called Super Mario Tales. So this series was rather weird because um, this was a series that I did on my video camera a very long time ago around in 2011-ish, around that year. Um, it was basically a series about um, Mario, Yoshi, Toad, and uh, Donkey Kong. Yes, yeah, that's some strange selections of characters doing random adventures, I guess. Um, um, with this series, um, I actually had um, the Mario um, action figures, little Mario action figures that you could get from, from toy stores and whatnot. I used to have those. I used to use them for scenes and episodes. Um, the, the series had like title cards, I guess, but the title cards were drawn in a notebook and I would like shove the camera up to the notebook to show the title cards. It was a weird series, you guys. Um, this, yes, I don't have the episodes anymore because this was a long time ago. I don't have them anymore with me, so I have no access to it anymore, but this was one of those early series that I've done in the 2010s decade and yeah it was a weird series um i do have an episode list that i'll probably be posting to google docs and i'll probably share out that google docs link sometime in the future but yeah this was just one of these early series that i've worked on before i started youtube before i considered doing youtube and it was a really weird series that i've worked on and i thought it was fun at the time but now that i'm older I've looked back at these weird series that I've did and I said to myself, what was I thinking? But yeah, this was one of the early series that I've worked on in the 2010s decade, and that's about it. That's about that's Super Mario Tales for you guys. And yeah, so I'll I'll talk more about the series in a future video, but I won't go way into details, but I will talk about the series a lot more in depth about what it was and the episodes and stuff. So stay tuned for that in a future video. So, um, another project that I've worked on in the 2010s was a little Mario Roblox movie titled Mario and Roblox Land, released in 2015. So, your basic plot of this film is that, uh, Bowser and, uh, Bowser Jr. freaking raids Peach's castle, and, um, they basically blast Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, and Toad to a faraway land in the world of Roblox, and it is up to them to leave Roblox land to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser's evil things. Now, keep in mind, you guys, this project was made in February 2015. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the release date. This, this movie came out in February of 2015. And the Roblox models that I found were not the best in conditions. Because look how bad these models look. Look at Toad. My gosh, what's up with Toad? He, look, he doesn't even look like Toad. He looks like some random boy character trying to look like Toad, but yeah, that's the Toad model that I use in the movie. Terrible. The Yoshi model, and eh, it looks alright, I guess, but Mario and Luigi, look, those are, they look ugly. They look terrible, and of course, the models change throughout the years, and they look so much better than the way they looked back in 2015. So, with this project, 
it was done on Movie Maker, and it was a subtitle format, uh, similar to other projects that you guys seen on my channel, such as uh, the Masashu Adventures of Super Mario, which I will get into later. But the problem with the subtitles is that some of the grammar is off, because that was back at a time where I didn't care about grammar. I would just type out words and not check the grammar, so... What, do you, what am I even talking about? You guys haven't even seen this movie. It's because I didn't release it on my channel. It's because I don't see a need to. This movie is so not the perfect in conditions for it to be released on YouTube. I will not release this movie for many good reasons. Number one, the grammar is bad. Number two, the music isn't even Mario music. Like seriously, the music in this film, let me tell you guys, that's another issue that I have with this film. The, fi the problem with this film is that the music is not from the Mario games. It's actually music from the Windows 7 sample music, like the, the Ninja Scruff Tuna music, uh, Bob Akiri Sleepaway, those generic Windows 7 sample musics. It's so bad. Like, it's that bad. That's why I'm not releasing it. And yeah, that's Mario and Roblox Land. Um, I've also used um, the Mario Sin Creator game that I've used for the Mustache Adventures of Super Mario, which I've said earlier, but you guys get the idea. And yeah, that's the, that's Mario Roblox Land. It's a very bad project. I don't like it. I don't know why I made it, but for its time, I thought it was good. But but as the years went on, I've started to dispute this project of of its, of its existence, of how bad it was, of its terrible grammar, not having Mario music, none of that good stuff. Hold the phones, folk. The Mario and Roblox Land movie series is not done yet because I made a sequel to this monstrosity. Mario and Roblox Land, The Moon Curse. Oh my gosh, why was this made? Why did I made a sequel? Well, it's time for me to tell you guys about this project. Well, um, in Mario and Roblox Land, The Moon's Curse, I've decided to make a sequel or a follow-up to the first Roblox Land movie. And I will give it credit, the logo looks a lot better than the original. The original logo was just green and it looked bland looking, but at least this one looks a lot better. But it's still not, it's still not the fact that it's bad than the, like the first one. Like with the first one, the grammar's bad. It's a, another subtitle format movie. Um, there's no voice blurbs of the characters like in my later Mario projects on my YouTube channel. But again, this is another project that I didn't release to YouTube because it's bad. But here's another positive note. I've actually used music from The Legend of Zelda, the Mario series. That's great. That's actually a step up from the original Mario Roblox Land movie. But that doesn't defeat the case that I've still used those ugly character models. Um, the plot is very similar to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask about a moon falling into a world. But yeah, that's basically what the plot of this movie is, is that um, Roblox King, that's the guy from the first Mario Roblox Land that I didn't mention. Um, he was having a night party. Bowser comes to Roblox Land that one night. He shoots magic onto the moon. I, I don't know why he did that. Like, what kind, of, what kind of plot is this? This plot is so bad. It's a terrible plot. The moon's curse? Like, come on now. But yeah, this, this project is just as bad as the first one. Terrible grammar like the first one. Just gonna say that out the way. And I just, I mean, at the time it was a good project that I've worked on, but that, that was not let it slide of how terrible it is. My other Mario, my other Roblox projects after this one are way better and they've actually have more improvements into it. So yeah, Mario Roblox Land, The Moon's Curse, is another horrible early project that I've worked on before the days of YouTube, and I will not be releasing it to the public because like I said earlier, like in the original Mario Roblox Land, the grammar is bad, the models are bad, everything in, in, in the film is just bad, and I'm not gonna share it to you guys, so deal with it. Oh, finally, we are now moving on to the good projects that I've worked on in this decade. SpongeBob SquarePants, the Roblox series, is within doubt, at the time, at first, was one of my favorite Roblox projects. If you guys aren't familiar with this series, well, pretty much everybody who was subscribed to me already knows about this series, is my adaptation to the widely popular SpongeBob series created by Steven Hillenburg. Uh, may he rest in peace. And yeah, so this was a very, very fun series that ran from June 11th, 2015 
to August 2nd, 2018, and it had a follow-up or reboot in 2019, which sadly ended around in March when I have announced that it had to be canceled uh, the rest of season 2019 due to personal issues and problems and stuff that I will not get into. So, yeah. Yeah, the series had voice acting. The earlier, the early episodes were poorly done with a terrible microphone, horrible speech, and terrible looking title cards that improved as the series progressed. And yeah, this is actually one of my favorite works on EB the Original Master. This was a very fun series. I've, I'm glad that I've invented it. I'm glad that I was able to tell SpongeBob the, the way how I wanted to see it. And everyone who, who appreciated this series, Thank you very much for enjoying SpongeBob SquarePants Roblox series for its screenshot format. Um, the voice acting was pretty okay, despite myself not sounding like some of the other characters, like Sandy, since she's a girl, and I'm not a girl, I'm a man, so yeah, whatever. But yeah, SpongeBob SquarePants Roblox series was a great series. Moving on. Oh, I hope you guys are excited for this because now I'm going to talk about three scrapped Mario and Roblox Land follow-ups to the Moon's Curse. And yeah, that's right, scrapped. Because I never finished these projects or even started these projects. Why? Because it was a waste of flipping time. That is right, these three projects, Mario and Roblox Land, Tiki Blocks Island, Mario and Roblox Land, Summer Sun, and Mario and Roblox Land, Winter Viking, are all three scrapped sequels because I wasn't in to the project all that much. I was getting bored of the project and I decided to keep on working on SpongeBob SquarePants Roblox series. And I'm so glad that I scrapped these projects I bet they're gonna be even bad as the, the moon's curse. Now let me discuss to you guys the plots that these movies were originally going to have. So in Mario Roblox Land Tiki Blocks Island, <laughs> say that five times fast, um, the Roblox King decided to invite Mario and his friends to a island named Tiki Blocks Island and um, new characters were introduced to this film, such as Princess Peach. Well, she isn't a new character, but she's new as a main character and Toadette, um, which is interesting. But of course the Peach and Toadette models that I've used were awful. They look, they look nothing like the characters in the games. I don't know why I used those models, but hey, it was 2015. Those are the only models that I've had at the time. And yeah, reasons why I scrapped this project I was getting bored of it. It was not fun. I was getting really bored of it, so I decided to scrap it. Now moving on to Mario and Roblox Land Summer Sun. The plot for this movie was very similar to Super Mario Sunshine. There's a Mario doppelganger running around causing havoc in Pianta Village. Um, they've mistaken him as the real Mario, so they have to stop the Mario doppelganger and get all the shine sprites. Again, this project never saw the light of the day because like I said earlier, it was boring, not fun. Never enjoyed it. Now, last but not least, Mario and Roblox Land Winter Viking. Um, I've never started on this project. I never did. I had the concept of it. Um, never did anything with the concept. Then I just scrapped the project entirely. And I'm so glad I did it because I bet all three of these projects would probably would have gonna suck because that was a back at a time when the grammar wasn't all that great. It was another subtitle. It was gonna be another subtitle format without any voice blurs of the characters. Well, in well, in Tiki Blocks Island, I was gonna use voice blurbs, but the voice blurbs came from Mario Party 8, and it was made in 2015, so I didn't bother researching other voice clips from other Mario games at the time, and as you guys can tell that the Mario Party 8 voice clips aren't all that great in my opinion, but some of them are great, some of them are okay, but yeah. And so yeah, those were the three scrapped Mario and Roblox Land sequels, and I'm so glad that I scrapped them because they probably would've sucked and they probably would have not been all that fun to make. All right, everyone, thank you guys for making this far into the video. So the next project that I'm gonna be talking about here from the 2010th decade that I've worked on is a little series known as The Angry James Show. One of my favorite series. Oh boy, this series was so much fun. I, I really love The Angry James Show. So this is a series created using the SitePal editor. I'm starring a businessman named Mr. James who goes through a terrible life. His family is very annoying and all he wants to do is relax and not have any problems, but he always witnesses those problems. Um, of course, text to speech is always fun to hear. Um, Daniel UK, which is from Mr. Sachs. You got um, Simon UK, 
from the British officer. You got James U.S. for Mr. James. You got Stephen U.S. for Jacob, Julie, Mrs. James, all of those great characters in the Angry James Show universe. Lots of you guys enjoyed this series, such as some of my Discord friends, such as Luke, or Mumsy, uh, Flash Don X, Motif Sweatpants. All of those guys really enjoyed my Angry James Show series, and I appreciate that. So, shout outs to those guys. Uh, yeah, this was a really fun series, and it ended in uh, 2019. It ended this year in uh, April. April 20th, 2019 is when the series finale hit it. Uh, there was going to be a revival series, but th that never saw the light of the day because the, the SitePal editor website had a different format now where there was a giant play button in the center. I wasn't very happy with the new demo layout, so I decided to scrap the, the entire series to work on something different, which I will talk about later in this video. So yeah, the Angry James show lasted from... It started in September of 2016, and it ended in... April 20th, 2019, and yeah, and that was the Angry James Show, so very fun series, really enjoyed it, had great characters, great voices, great episodes, this, this is just my opinions of the series, I thought it was a fun series, and I appreciate you guys enjoying it, and yeah, that's the Angry James Show, so moving on, I bet you're asking you right now, why are there Mario plush toys in the center of this video, well, it's because the next set of videos I'm gonna be talking about here, are Mario Plus videos that I used to make in the 2010s decade. Well, um, some of these Mario Plus videos that I created inc included a little Mario Plus movie that I made back in the end of 2014 titled PD Piranha or PD Moves N. In this Mario Plus movie, I've decided to have PD Piranha move into Mario's house and lots of bad things occurred. Um, I may have remembered some scenes of this movie. I think there was one scene where um, Petey Prana wanted a Pop-Tart, and I guess Mario gave him the blueberry flavor, but he wanted strawberry. That's that's one of the scenes I may have remembered from the movie. Again, this is one of the archive movies that never... I mean, it was made, but it never was saved, and I don't have... and I no longer have access to the movie, but... Those were, one of, those were one of the Mario Plus movies that I used to make back in the 2010s. Another Mario Plus movie that I made, I think it was called Mario Gets Fired or something. I would probably remember that one. And that one, Mario Gets Fired from his job. Um, that was at the time where I had the, the SpongeBob and Patrick little backpack toys. If you guys don't remember that, it was a SpongeBob and a Patrick plush set with the little backpacks that they have. And inside the and, and the backpacks were like books. It was basically those. I, I used to have those. I don't have them anymore. I must have lost those. But yeah, those those were some Mario plush movies that I've made in the 2010s decade. I also uploaded some of those Mario plush videos that I've made in 2015 and 2016. One of them was called Mario's Dinner Problem. That was from 2015. Uh, another Mario plush movie or a plus video, not movie, video that I've made was called uh, Mario's Kitchen Meltdown, where Toad was in the toaster and Mario found him in the, in the toaster, so he pulled him out. Uh, another Mario plus video that I uploaded to my channel that was from the 2010s decade, obviously, was titled Luigi's Toys R Us card, where Mario found out that Luigi bought a lot of toys from Toys R Us using his credit card. Mario freaks out about it, and yeah. So those are those are just some examples of Mario Plus videos that I've made in this decade, and they were all fun, and I really enjoyed them all. So yeah, if you guys would like to see those Mario Plus videos, I am gonna make a playlist later in the year of putting those Mario Plus videos in the playlist, and I'm just title it Mario Plus videos. So yeah, so now we can finally move on to the next set of series that I've used to work on in this decade. Alright folks, the next set of projects that I've worked on in this decade are on the preschool side. Random Mario songs, Super Mario Rhymes, and Super Mario Rhymes 2. Now, now let me tell you guys something real strange. Random Mario songs, what the heck does that even mean? Does that mean you get random Mario songs like from the games or something? No, that's not what random Mario songs is. It was this obscure video plush series that lasted for 10 volumes that I've created back in 2013 where I would make these Mario plush characters sing little kids songs. 
why did I've made this? I have no clue. I thought it would be something to joke around, I guess, just for laughs and giggles, I guess. But to make matters worse about this series, instead of going online or something and finding, I don't know, like, instrumentals of these kids' songs, I mimic the instrumentals of those songs with my mouth. That is bad, because if you don't have background music and you make your own with your mouth, that is this cringe beyond mean. And this is not a, a, a YouTube series or anything, because this was before I started YouTube. And I'm so glad that I ended off this series, because this series was just uh, weird, 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 weird. I edited everything on Windows Movie Maker, and I used Comic Sans font to display the name of the songs in the center of the screen. Very weird, very, very weird. Now moving on to Super Mario Rhymes and Super Mario Rhymes 2, which are two projects that are on my channel, which is very similar to Random Mario songs, but in the format of Roblox, but it's a lot better than Random Mario songs. So I've decided to make a little video project of Mario characters singing little kids nursery rhymes because I don't know why I thought it would be to joke around just for fun, just for laughs and giggles, not trying to be a preschool channel or whatnot, but it was something that I wanted to do. So I've did it for two volumes, released those two videos, and you can still watch them up on my channel. And yeah, I actually did use instrumentals of those kid nursery rhymes to make it sound better. And I have to say that both projects turn out okay. They all turn out okay, and I will not be doing anything like this again because that's not the channel that I wanted it to be. I did it just for fun, I did it just for laughs and giggles, and all those laughs and giggles are now over with, so now I can actually make Mario characters do Mario things, like defeat Bowser, rescue Peach, collect power-ups, not singing nursery rhymes for kids. That's weird. Oh yeah, release dates. Um, let me just do the release dates real quick for all three of these Mario projects. Uh, Random Mario Songs Volume 1 came out in September 2013, Volume 2, September 2013, uh, volume 3, September 2013, Volume 4, October 2013, Volume 5, November 2013, uh, Volume 6, December 2013, Volume 7, January 2014, Volume 8, February 2014, Volume 9, March 2014, and Volume 10, August 2014, and Super Mario Rhymes 1 came out on June 3rd, 2017, and Super Mario Rhymes 2 on September 22nd, 2018. Alright, no more preschool stuff, let's actually talk about some of the Mario Roblox game projects that I've worked on before we move on to the last two video projects. So Super Mario 3D Roblox World was a little Mario game project series that I've worked on on my channel back in August of 2015 and wrapped up in April of 2016. So Super Mario 3D Roblox World was a game project which starred Mario traveling through these different worlds in the world of Roblox. Now, uh, these were actually levels that I created using Roblox Studio, finding the models on, in the toolbox. I then play through those little Mario levels that I created to demonstrate them, and I released them to my YouTube channel, compiling all of those video levels into one video. So this is not an actual game you could play on Roblox.com. These were my levels that I've designed using Roblox Studio, for my purposes only, I've used Movie Maker to create the little UI of the lives Mario has, the star coins he's collected. There's no power-ups in the game. All there is is you going through enemies, grabbing the flag at the end. And yeah, there were nine worlds in the game in this project. World 1 was a grass world. World 2 was the desert. World 3 was the freaking snowlands. World 4 was in the forest, world 5 is the beach, world 6 is the canyons, world 7 is up in the clouds, and world 8 is Bowser's lava world, and in world 9 is basically all the levels are based off of each of the worlds you visited, very similar to NSNBU's Superstar Road and Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D World 9. Another attempted Mario Roblox project game that I tried to work on was titled Mario Party Roblox Tour, which never saw the light of day. I've only released one video talking about the project back in July of 2015, and I never released a single video of this project because I scrapped it. Yes, it was scrapped. 
Uh, the images you guys see here are obviously images, stock images of the Mario characters. You got Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Toad, Toadette, Peach, Daisy, Wario, Waluigi, Bowser, and Bowser Jr. But where's Rosalina? Where the heck is she? I guess she wasn't invited to the party. That stinks. But yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be holiday 2015, but I never saw the light of day. So it was supposed to play like Mario Party, the old school Mario Party. There's spaces, there's coins. I was gonna like create my own little mini games, but yeah, it was ended up being scrapped. Yeah, that's Mario Party Roblox Tour. Okay, last but not least in the fan-made Mario Roblox projects that I've worked on in the 2010s decade, Mario Kart 9. So yeah, this was supposed to be my version of Mario Kart using Roblox Studio. Um, I've only uploaded three videos related to this project, Mushroom, Flower, and uh, the Star Cup. And after that, I never did the Special Cup because I completely stopped working on this project. And yeah, uh, the videos are still up on my channel. These were uploaded in 2016. Uh, this project started in July of 2016, and that was about it. Never finished it. Never, and I'm not going to continue working on it because it's been past due. I'm not going to be seeing this project again. But yeah, it's basically my version of Mario Kart. The only characters that were shown were Mario, Luigi, and Toad. Yeah, I could have at least had more characters to come along, but that never saw the light of day. But yeah, that's Mario Kart 9. It was supposed to be my version of the next big Mario Kart game after Mario Kart 8. But yeah, a lot of people kept saying, oh, this is Roblox, this is fake. I'm like, no crap. It's, of course it's not real. You thought this was real? If you thought this was real, then I'm sorry, you're dumb. All right, now that those Mario game projects using Roblox are taken care of, we can now finally move on to these other two projects that I've worked on in the 2010s decade, uh, the My Band Lab soundtrack series and the My Soundtrap soundtrack series. So, uh, Soundtrap and BandLab are two music creating websites that I've discovered in this 2010s decade, uh, Soundtrap being the first one, and I've used these two websites to create my own little music, composing using these websites. And they were fun, they were titled um, the My Soundtrap Soundtrack series, which had 15 videos, uh, My Soundtrap Soundtrack 2.0, which had 10 videos, and we also had the My BandLab Soundtrack series, which started in the end of 2018, with 10 videos and two other added videos just for fun. And yeah, these songs were usually nursery rhyme related, similar to the veins of a Casio or Yamaha keyboard. I tried to mimic the sounds of those, but yeah, I did the best I could. Uh, you can still watch these videos on my channel. They're not going anywhere. They're still staying because these are good videos and I don't see the need to delete them. So yeah, if you want to check out the My Soundtrap soundtrack series and the My Band Lab soundtrack series, you could watch them anytime you want under the playlists. You'll find them in the playlist tab. Just search for them and you'll be able to find them. Holy moly, I almost forgot about this series. Oh my gosh, holy moly. Uh, Mario's House. Yeah, I am not going to talk about this too much because I've made a pre-made video in January of this year talking about Mario's house and I uploaded it to my channel back in, I think, October? Yeah, it was in October when I uploaded the video. But yeah, Mario's house was a scrapped series that I've worked on in this decade in 2016 where Mario and Luigi moves out of their Brooklyn home to move in a house of their own. Uh, Toad was supposed to be in the series, Toadette was supposed to be in the series, Yoshi, Peach, Wario, and Waluigi, they were all supposed to be in the series. But I've stopped production after episode one because I wanted to continue working on the Roblox series. Got that taken care of? Good. If you want to see the full in-depth video of why I canceled the series, I'll guess I'll drop the link in the description. So check that video out. And yeah, so moving on. All right, guys, we are almost done with this video. And boy, is this video long. It's almost 30 minutes in. But yeah, so next we're going to talk about is the Mustachio Adventures of Super Mario which was a current series that I started all the way back in May of this year, 2019, and I sadly canceled it because of many issues with this series. For starters, I was not very happy with the character selection of this series. Uh, the Mario Sin Creator game had lacking of great Mario characters such as Donkey Kong, Toadette, Daisy, where are they? Instead, they picked some of the more obscure Mario enemies that we haven't seen in years, like 
Mauser, Fanto. Yeah, they're cool, but they're not really relevant to the Mario series anymore. And, and another reason why I canceled it, because I wasn't happy with the subtitle format. Now that, I should have definitely omitted that, because the subtitles format isn't all that bad. It really isn't bad, because you, you play a Mario game, right? You read text boxes, because that's how you read the character's dialogue in the Mario games, by text boxes. And that's not annoying to people. So I don't know why that I don't know why the subtitles was one of the reasons why I canceled the series. But if you guys want to know the real, real, real reason why I canceled it, it was because of the character selections and the lack of variety of backgrounds. Those two elements were the main issue. The subtitles, I could get by that. But yeah, so only seven episodes were produced, which were uh, The Great Escape, uh, Mario Secret Star, Tricky Turtles, Mario and Wario, Fishy Foes, Bowser's Nightmare, and Attack of the Clones. Were the, those were the only episodes that were produced, and the others ended up being scrapped and not seeing the light of day. So yeah, that's a wrap with the Mustachio Adventures of Super Mario. And now we can finally end off this video with my current project that I'm working on that will most likely be releasing next year in 2020. Super Mario Escape from Bowser Island. That is right, everyone. This is my current 2019 project that will most likely be releasing next year. It's because that this project is already big. It's too big right now. I'm still not done with everything. So this movie will probably most likely be coming out in early 2020, no later than that. So I'm not gonna talk about this project all too much because I've discussed it far too much. There's way too many things being uploaded about this project. So if you guys want to see an overview of this project, I will drop the link of the overview video discussing Escape from Bowser Island. It's a big project. It's lots of fun. This is easily one of my favorite Mario Roblox projects. This is way better than Mario Roblox Land, Mario Roblox Land, The Moon's Curse, Summer Sun, Winter Viking, and that stupid Tiki Blocks Island. This is a Mario movie done right with Mario music, voice blurbs, good character models, good humor, everything about this movie so far is perfect. And I am so looking forward to releasing it to you guys, so please bear with me. I will try to have this project out by 2020. I am gonna keep on working as hard as I can, so please bear with me. So thank you guys for watching, and wait, wait, hold on, I gotta do a closing statement. What am I doing? I'm ending off this video way too soon. So yeah, let me do this closing statement real quick. So as we close off 2019 and walk into 2020, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video and being a very big support to my channel for many years to come. See you guys in 2020, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Yahoo!